Hello everyone, I am Dr. Venkat Reddy. Uh, we have prepared a small uh, video uh, to help you out uh, for uh, calculating fluid uh, in a baby who presents us with hypernatremic dehydration. So uh, we know uh, treatment of hypernatremic dehydration includes mainly uh, two phases. One is emergency phase and other is the uh, rehydration phase. During this emergency phase, we will try to restore the intravascular volume by giving a bolus of about 10 to 20 m ml per uh, kg and the usually uh, the fluid of choice will be normal saline or ringer lactate normal saline uh, contains uh, C, uh, sodium uh, level of about 154 milliequivalents per liter and ringer lactate contains uh, 130 milliequivalents milliequil per liter of uh, sodium so uh, whenever the serum sodium levels are uh, are high like uh, it is more than 175 or more than 180 even uh, giving bolus of a, of normal saline or ringer lactate uh, will be the concentration of this sodium in these fluids will be far lesser than the serum sodium so which may lead to rapid fall in the sodium so ideally uh, we should prepare a fluid uh, which uh, with a sodium concentration around 12 milliequivalents per liter lesser than the serum sodium but practically speaking uh, 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 by the time we get the report from the lab of the serum sodium values, uh, the bolus will be uh, done. So, uh, though uh, ideally we need to give a solution, we need to prepare a solution uh, which contains IV fluid uh, sodium of about 12, uh, 12 milliequivalents per liter lesser than the serum sodium. But even giving normal saline or ringer lactate would be uh, helpful for the baby. So, this is the emergency phase. Once the bolus is done, we need to calculate the fluid for the rehydration phase. And the rehydration phase includes correction of free water deficit and maintenance fluid for the day. Okay. So, first step, we will be going through few steps uh, in calculating the uh, fluid. Okay. In the first step is uh, to calculate the free water deficit. So, this is a formula which we use to uh, calculate the free water deficit. And uh, so, an and, uh, important thing here is the free water should be uh, given so, so, so that the uh, serum sodium doesn't fall by more than 12 milliequivalents per liter each day. So, any rapid correction uh, or any rapid correction leads to cerebral edema, seizures, and death. Okay, so we need to uh, give free water uh, deficit over a period of time so that each day our sodium level should not fall more than 12 milliequivalents per liter. So step 2 uh, will be uh, to calculate the maintenance fluid uh, required for that day. And step 3 will be what is the total fluid that is the free water deficit plus maintenance fluid for that day. And the next step will be so what is the proportion of free water out of the total fluid per day. That is, uh, for example, if the free water is 100 ml and uh, the total fluid uh, for that day is around 400 ml, this 25% of the total fluid should be free water. So, next step will be, this is the important and the crucial step, that is, which fluid to be started so that it provides a desired proportion of the free water. So, uh, I mean, whenever the serum sodium levels are, are, are severely high, like more than 180 or more than 190, even though we are giving a isotonic fluid that might be hypotonic uh, for the patient's sodium so that uh, we need to prepare a fluid uh, which with adequate with required amount of sodium so that it gives our desired proportion of free water out of the total uh, fluid for that day this is the most important step where a lot of mistakes will be happening during this calculation of this uh, in this step uh, I know a lot of us have uh, difficulty uh, in calculating uh, these uh, these things, and uh, we have a lot of confusion uh, with respect to uh, what to give, what uh, fluid to be uh, given, and all those things. So to simplify the things, uh, we have tried to prepare uh, a calculator, uh, which will help us in uh, in uh, calculating the fluid for the baby, and which fluid to be given uh, for the baby. So, uh, what we'll try is we'll uh, try to calculate uh, taking an example. So, this is an example. Uh, this is a new unit presented on day 10 of life with severe dehydration, birth weight of the baby being 2.5 kg and the admission weight was 2 kg. Serum sodium at the time of admission was 180 milliequivalents uh, per liter. So, for this uh, uh, example or for this baby, we'll try to uh, uh, enter the values which are required into the calculator and what all the things calculator does we'll uh, see 
calculating the fluid in case of hypernatremic dehydration so in this the there are some yellow boxes and some there are some green boxes the yellow boxes need to be filled with that uh, the input we need to give to the calculator so that uh, in what all things are required rest all things uh, the calculator does automatically and give you the output so here uh, so what is a day of life it is day 10 right next is day of uh, sorry uh, baby's weight at the time of admission was 2 kgs and uh, so what is a maintenance fluid for that day of life that is uh, this is day 10 of life so maintenance fluid will be 150 ml per kg per day and what is the serum sodium uh, it's 180 so uh, uh, these are things we we need to uh, give to the calculator so we have entered these things so it uh, see uh, the uh, calculator automatically calculated the rest all things so first thing will be the emergency phase that is uh, we need to give a bolus of 0.9 percent normal saline uh, of about 40 ml over 30 minutes this is the bolus and next is the rehydration phase that is uh, which includes correction of free water deficit and maintenance fluid and uh, here uh, the free water deficit for the day here actually all the calculations are for the day only and for the next day based upon the so next day's morning sodium we will be calculating again all the things so the free water deficit for the day is around 100 ml and uh, maintenance fluid for the day is around 300 that is 150 ml per kg per day and the baby's weight is 2 kg that is 300 ml so total fluid to be given for the day is 400 ml okay and next so what is the proportion of free water out of the total fluid for the day so we know here uh, the total fluid to be given is 400 and the free water deficit for the day is 100 so proportion of free water out of the total uh, uh, water is around 0.25 that is 25 percent of this total fluid uh, should be free water so our next important thing is we need to prepare a fluid uh, with uh, 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 with um, so that it gives us the uh, uh, required free water for that day out of the total water so uh, the required amount of sodium to be to be present in that fluid is 135 so we need to prepare a fluid which contains uh, sodium concentration of 135 milliequivalents per liter so for which uh, the the so we need to prepare a fluid that uh, contains around 105 ml of 3 percent ns and 295 ml of 5 percent dextrose so which includes overall includes that is 400 ml and we need to give uh, this at a rate of 16.6 .6 ml per hour this is one day's fluid so uh, this is the cal uh, calculation uh, at the end so uh, and important thing is uh, we need to monitor the serum electrolytes calcium blood sugar and urine output every six hourly and titrate the fluid as per the values and this in this calculator uh, we um, knowingly underestimated the amount of dehydration because uh, any amount of uh, over correction or, uh, or over enthusiastic correction leads to rapid fall in the serum sodium which leads to uh, untoward complications like cerebral edema seizures and death so uh, uh, slow and steady correction will uh, help the baby in improving uh, better without any complications so we have uh, tried to uh, put all these uh, things uh, um, and uh, we have uh, knowingly we have uh, underestimate some amount of uh, dehydration here and uh, this calculator will be ideal when the serum sodium levels are huge are high like more than 175 or more than 180 then it would be uh, better to use this calculator otherwise normally we can calculate the fluid uh, normally only and these are the formulas which we have applied uh, in this uh, excel sheet on this calculator so that we will get all the output uh, hope uh, this is fine and thank you very much uh, for uh, watching the uh, video